Now let's move on to page 50. Job application or cover letter. A job application or cover letter is what goes with a resume. It is used to introduce yourself in short. In it, you will state what job you're interested in and why you think you're suitable for that job. A cover letter should motivate the employer to read further about you in your resume. An impressive cover letter and resume are the first steps towards bagging the job that you want. Now let's look at a sample cover letter. We're on page 50. So here you can see that it begins with the sender's address, okay, the place you're writing from and then the date and then the receiver's address. Yes, the name, the designation and address of the person you are writing to. Remember that you have to be careful about the designation. Find the correct designation and put it here. Okay, and also be careful with the title of the person you're writing to. For example, Mr. or Miss or Ms. or Mrs. or Doctor or Professor. Okay, whatever their title is, you must put it correctly over here. Now, there is this title, Ms. M.S. Okay, it's pronounced Ms. Which is there so that you don't have to specify whether it is a Miss or a Mrs. It's a safe title to use for all ladies, right? M.S. Ms. So that you avoid writing the wrong title. Sometimes people give the name but they don't give the title. If it's a female name, you don't know whether the person is married or unmarried. So the safe thing to do for any woman is to write Ms. M.S. Okay. And you don't need to put a dot after that. Right. For all the titles for that matter. Doctor. Ms. Miss. Mrs. Yes. Earlier we used to put that, but now not required. Now let's move on to the salutation. It begins with dear sir slash madam. Now we use dear, we don't say respected anymore. Okay, use dear, dear sir or dear sir slash madam. And also remember if you are sure that it's a lady that you're writing to, you say, dear madam. Okay, don't say, dear sir slash madam. When you know it's a woman, you say, dear madam. If you know it's a man, say, dear sir. Okay. If you don't know from the name, then you can say, dear sir slash madam. Or if the name is not given. All right. But make sure that you don't use the word ma'am because ma'am is an informal way of referring to a lady it's a formal letter so you write madam when you're speaking to them you can call them ma'am okay but not when you're writing a, a formal letter to them now next you have the subject line in the subject line you must clearly mention why you're writing to them now you, here you can see the subject line says applying for the post of data entry assistant. Okay, you're mentioning the post and then reference to the with reference to the advertisement in Hindustan News. You have to tell them where you found this ad and also the date. Because the subject line helps the reader to know what the letter is about immediately. Then you have the first paragraph of the body of the letter. This, in this paragraph, you explain why you are suitable for the job. Please remember, you have to mention your qualifications and everything that tells you that you are eligible for the job. You put, it in the, put everything in this paragraph. At the same time, please don't sound arrogant. You must not. You must be very careful when you're writing formal letters or anything, any piece of writing for that matter. When you write something, please check it and give it to somebody to 
check it again for you to to look at the tone of the letter okay sometimes unintentionally un unintentionally we might sound rude okay so it's important that you give it to somebody that you can trust ask them if it sounds polite okay and only then you finalize the letter okay and the next paragraph the next two paragraphs second and third paragraphs you mention your key strengths as per the job requirements then in the end you thank the reader for reading your letter and then we have the leave taking you see that it says yours faithfully now there's uh, you need to know when you use yours faithfully and when yours sincerely as long as you're studying it is yours sincerely but when you write for other purposes if you mention the name of the person that you're writing to then you end the letter with yours sincerely but if you just put the designation of the person in that in the receiver's address you don't include the name then you end the letter with yours faithfully all right so here you have yours faithfully because the manager's name is not mentioned here it ends with yours faithfully comma you first put the signature there is no space for signature here but you when you write a letter put your signature and then your full name again and down it says enclosure resume that means you've attached with uh, attached the resume with this letter or you can also add a line in the in the letter saying please find attached a copy of my resume 